A man named Lemony Snicket once quoted, everyone should be able to do one card trick, tell two jokes, and recite three poems, if you're ever trapped in an elevator. How many of you think you could do that? All right, that's a step above me. I don't think I have the poems down. Well, I'm gonna show you a simple card trick to use on friends, family, coworkers, and even your enemies. Yes, your enemies. I'll get to that in a little bit here, though. <laughs> to get started, I'll need a victim from the audience. I'll take you. Could you please come up and I have a deck of 52 cards here, just your average Barack Obama deck of cards. Take out the two jokers. If you could just shuffle that for me, please. <clears throat> just a basic shuffle, doesn't need to be nothing. Hmm. Perfect. <laughs> All right, now show them. Sleeves are clean, nothing up them, nothing to hide. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to take this deck of cards, and I want you to tell me when to stop. Stop. Remember, remember that card. Okay. I would have you sat down. You sat down. No worries. Nine of spades, right? Yeah. All right, let's try it out one more time, though. <laughs> I like room one. I'll give you another quick shuffle for you. You can shuffle if you would like as well. I trust you. <laughs> All right. Tell me when to stop one more time. Stop. Got the card? Got it. All right. Can you see the cards from here? Yeah. All right, I bet you, let's put a little wager on this. I'll bet you a dollar the next card I turn over is yours. Okay. All right. Is that your card? Yeah. There you go. You didn't turn it over. I did turn it over. Uh, <laughs> I'll bet you all wondering how I did I that. thought you were talking about turning it over for the deck, man. I didn't point to the deck. <laughs> no, show? you didn't. All right, so you're all probably kind of wondering how I did that. Yeah. Well, let me show you. First of all, <coughs> clear your sleeves. Make sure everyone knows there's no one, nothing up there, nothing hiding. Ask your victim to shuffle the deck. He'll shuffle it for you. Take it back to him. Now here's the most important step. You'll screw everything up if you don't do this. When he's handing back the deck to you, you take a real quick look at that bottom card. That is the card that you are always paying attention to. So now here's the next important step. Take the deck in your hand just like so, face down. Don't let it really sit on the palm. And then you ask the victim to start counting, or you start shuffling the card and you tell him what to stop. So as I'm going, he'll say stop. And when he says stop, throw your thumb right underneath and pull that card out. <laughs> and you show it right to him. <laughs> and so it's, it's that easy. It's that simple, just a quick sleight of hand. One, two, three. Well, as you can see, you go through it a couple times. I went through it the first time and showed him, just did it right up, you know. Say his card was the, you know, we'll say the Jack of Hearts. I was throwing him up, throwing him up, Jack of Hearts showed right away. I called it out right away. So then you do the card trick again. Same thing, don't miss any steps, do everything there. But then again, when you're laying your cards down, say his card is the Nine of Hearts. You're laying it down, you're laying it down, you lay the nine of hearts down, but keep putting cards down over it. Just leave that nine of hearts sticking out a little bit so you can see it. And then you make a little wager, say, hey, do you wanna make this interesting? And uh, when, when they say yes, let's make it interesting, throw up whatever you want to bet, this is where your enemies come in. Make it a $10 bet, $20 bet, you really wanna piss them off, throw a hundred in there. 
And then make sure you do not point to the cards when you say, let's make a wager. As soon as you point to a card, you have to pick that card. So that's why you do not point to the card. As soon as I make the wager, simply turn that card over, show it to them, collect your money, and walk away. If they don't take that wager, though, just simply flip over the wrong card and show them that you got it wrong. And if you want, you can try your luck, do it one more time, play the same wager, but then flip this card. So, what's the essence? Oh, you finished? You're almost done. So there you have it. A simple card trick to entertain your friends, family, the enemies, and even those randoms you're going to meet in the elevator. <laughs>